This is your brain. And this is your brain on the music business, filled with pieces of information like ASCAP helps writers, a major label deal is a guarantee of making real money, information about publishing companies and what they do, how much songwriters should get paid, and of course, that artists are often taken advantage of. The problem with this is that although all of these things are true to some degree, none of them are 100% accurate. And yet, they're all wired together in your mind. And when you're confronted with a situation in business, you need to draw down on this information and none of it is 100% accurate, thus not leading to the most optimal response. It's true that ASCAP helps writers, but ASCAP's real agenda is to collect money for performances and pay publishers. And it's true that publishing companies sell songs to artists, but what they really do is collect money for copyrights they control. If both of these entities can help writers along the way, well, that's terrific, but that's not their mandate. The law requires a songwriter be paid nine cents every time a song is used. That's not exactly true either. The reality is that the law requires that a songwriter can only license a song for a maximum of nine cents to a record company. That's not necessarily a great thing. And as we all know, a major label deal is a guarantee of making nothing. Do artists get taken advantage of in the business? Well, of course they do. But the real truth is that artists often trust people with an agenda. Not knowing what that agenda is can lead to making the wrong decision and trusting the wrong people. What we learn in the Confessions of a Record Producer Workshop is what everyone's agenda is, how much they make, and how much they're looking to make off of you. Voltaire said that business is the art of taking money out of your pocket and putting it in mine without the use of a gun. We do have to warn you, though. Large doses of reality from the Confessions of a Record Producer Workshop can cause nausea, dizziness, fainting, and feelings of displacement. However, these moods are usually temporary and will be followed by sensations of empowerment, mania, and a lust to be productive.